Hello you good looking individuals, Roman Chaos here, and today I'm going to show you how to play some PS3 games on your PC. Now without further ado, let's get right into it. With the link that I provided down below, I would love for you to go to this website, playstation.com support system update your PS3. Basically for this video, you're just going to hit download now, it'll be going straight to your downloads, and it'll be a PS3 update.pup file. I don't need to download this one because I already downloaded it and prior to the video. I have a really bad internet connection so I wanted to get things going. Once that's downloaded we can go on to our next step. Our next step is with this link that I provided, this is going to be the RPCS3 emulator. This is the emulator itself. Basically what you're going to do is hit download now on this link and it'll just be through your downloads. It's not that big, it'll go super fast. Once that's done, I'm going to hit show in folder. I'm going to drag it to my desktop so I can show you guys and I'm going to ex we're going to extract it. Here we are. I want you to double click on it and just hit the application itself. Now as you can see it's extremely blank because we just got a new fresh copy and we're going to add a bunch of stuff to it. Now with the .pup file that you did earlier you're going to go to tools install firmware. Now wherever I saved it I saved mine on my desktop I made a separate folder for it the ps3 update.pup simply double click on it it's going to unpack for you and it's going to install everything we need to actually play the games we're going to download that step's all done how about let's get some games let me minimize this with this link that I provided i want you to go to this main website the home page will look something like this psndl.net let's get some packages packages are the games itself for the sake of this video and the game that i played before i'm going to download super street fighter 2 hd Turbo HD Remix. You're going to click right here. Now before you get really excited and decide to just download the package, we actually need the key for it. The RAP files are pretty much the key. We're going to show in folder and bam, should be right here. Perfect. This is the file we need. Next thing we want to do is download the package itself. You're going to hit download package and that's going to be the game itself. For the sake of this video, I already downloaded it just so I wouldn't have to do it all over again, but it's fairly, fairly small. It's only 302 megabytes. Okay, now that we got our game in the RAP file, where do we put everything? Well, that RAP file needs to go into this section right here. This is how it looks. It's going to be your emulator. This is the main page. You want to go to devhdd0, double click on that, hit home, the 000 with the 1 at the end, the ex data. And this is where you copy all your key files. This is how you make the game run. Most of the games can't run without it. Some don't even require an RAP file. Within this website, there's a description the users leave. My recommendation is always try to get one with an RAP file. All right, so let's drag and drop this to our new one. So right here's our new folder. So we're going to go devhdd0 home 001 exdata. And let's get this one, and we're simply going to drag and drop. That's it. All it takes. Now that we have that down, how about we get the game running? So, we're going to go to boot, install package, downloads. Here is, this is how big the download should be for the one you downloaded. I'm going to hit open. Perfect. Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD. Now, if we did everything correctly, we're going to double click and let the game run. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to run this. It's going to be super loud, so my recommendation is just get ready. It's going to be a little bit loud when it first boots up. I changed the audio within the game, but here we go. Perfect. It ran smoothly. I'm on the OpenGL setting. I'll show you more about that. And just be prepared, it's gonna be a little bit loud. Also, I wouldn't be surprised if yeah. As I stated prior, it is quite loud. Anyways, let me just show you that it does indeed run. 
going to hit single player. Uh, you can connect your controller, but for the sake of this video, I'm just showing you how to get the games going. I'm going to put easy. I am very bad at this game. I'll make it full screen as well. I will pick Ryu, and right here is my FPS counter, and I'll just show you that. My recommendation is to have a very decent high-end, not a super high-end computer, but one that's going to run. I mean, I can barely get my Semu games to run super smooth, so for a PS3, it's going to be a probably a little bit more demanding. So it's entirely on your computer and how it can run. So as you can see, um, it runs, well, this game, I love, it runs really well. I'm still really bad at it. I haven't changed. There, I just button mesh on this. Um, yeah, I mean, if you all have any questions regarding it, um, or any recommendations for future videos, please let me know. Leave a comment down below. I much appreciate it. I'm going to lose on easy. This is, this is the end. Yep. Let me just accept my fate. All right, there we go. Uh, oh, I guess I can leave a note. Um, go to your settings. Go to system. I would change this to English. Some of the games will be in Japanese if you don't change it this way. Um, there's also a networking one. I'm not sure how to use it. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to pay LAN. Haven't looked into that as much. Uh, here's where the pad handler can be changed. But from my understanding, if you simply just use the DS4 uh, updater or the DS4 program itself uh, with hooking up a PS4 controller, it'll work just fine. Um, there's also a PS3 controller way of doing it. There's the audio point, um, the graphics, so you can change it from here. Re aspect ratio, resolution, frame limit, if you want to be safe. You can also put a V-Sync. Um, the core itself, this is what I see a lot of people trying to mess with the configurations. I only put the, this one comes because it comes standard, and I feel like a lot of people should go by this, but there's also a manual way of doing it. And there's also different lib files to make it load the way you would like you can change the decoder the i mean once you get the hang of it you can start playing with it but for the meantime of simply running the game as you can see it did run really well i would just recommend keeping everything the way as it was so um that's pretty much all i have for you folks today um if you have any oh huge shout out huge shout out to world william worldwide william i think that's his name it's a really cool name he actually sent me a personal message telling me you should try doing a guide on how to make an rpcs3 emulator go i would really appreciate it i said no problem man let me do some homework on it i'll do what i can and here we are i'm responding to it i really hope he likes the video and as well as the rest of you uh it means a lot to me that you guys are leaving me comments and feedback and subscribing i can't believe it. i'm at 25 i mean uh this channel has been going on a month now i started with pretty much nobody and now i'm at 25 i cannot thank you all enough i will be more than happy to provide more content like this for you guys if you have any questions please let me know leave a like comment down below and if you want to subscribe make my day go ahead and do that roman chaos is out and all of you have a great day